Look into my f***ing eyes, Darius Truxton, Keith Elwood from Gray's Road. Darius Truxton, you are not a gaming channel. I go see today, this guy uploads three hours ago, Super Smash Bros. Melee Final Destination Match, Level 50 event, shut up. No one cares. You're not a gamer, Darius Truxton. You're a friggin' loser that sits at 2772 jobless without a full-time job. That's you, queefy boy. Why would I care about your gaming content when I can go on YouTube and search up anyone else's level 50 event in Super Smash Bros. Battle? Why would I want to listen to some guy who's in his mid-40s, Darius Trucks in mid-40s, and has never driven a car in his life? That's you. You're a pathetic incel. In this day and age, you kind of need a car to go different places, but since you're a sack of crap that sits around friggin' East Hamilton downtown and you ride your pink tricycle everywhere to the friggin' docks of Hamilton with your stupid flood shorts. You remember that one, uh, Darius Trucks in April 26th? It's gonna come up very soon where you got fired from Franklin Empire by Level 1 Online and all you could do was cry on the internet to a bunch of incels, go to the docks of Hamilton and talk about a Mortal Kombat review. That's all you did. And then after that, so pathetic, you went to Brantford, Ontario in some motel, some cheap motel. I seen the motels are in Brantford. They're pretty cheap, by the way. You're not friggin' making it big or some success story. You were in a cheap friggin' motel in Brantford, probably trying your luck at the casino there with twenty dollars. You probably lost. And then in your friggin' video, you're talking about a strong retirement plan. You're literally saying in your video, Queefy Boy. 2772 Dom does again. I'm very sorry, Robert. You're saying in the video you're done with YouTube because you're on a strong retirement plan. Here you are uploading three hours ago some incel video six, mi uh, six minutes long with 35 views. Nice, 35 views. Wow. You're so making it big on YouTube, Darius Truxton. You are the success story of all success stories. Meanwhile, I'm here coming online every single day, roasting the hell out of you. Meanwhile, I'm here getting different communities, the Gerard community, the Phoenix resale community, the friggin' uh, Review Tech community, and uh, what are the other rant, uh, Dreamcast. They're all coming, and they're all going to find out how much of a loser you are. Let me tell you guys how much of a loser Darius Truxton is. This guy is so pathetic that he had admitted that actually he this is what he admitted this is when i found out he was a loser he admitted that he goes to strip clubs during the day so he can get more attention from the girls that is pathetic because you do know if queefy boy went there with his double xl shirt that says property of the game chasers on it chinless from one angle double chin from another angle with his stupid eminem haircut he's been rocking since elementary school if he goes to that strip club during the night there is no way in hell a stripper is going to look twice at queefy boy in his flood shorts he has no money in his pocket. He lay, he friggin' sits, lays on his uh, sorry, uh, lays a sorry carcass on his cat piss smelling mattress, which is stupid cats Roger and Cooper friggin' pooed and peed on. When my wedding amiibos, see there's, here's me, there's Isha, and here's Ape and Eric. So he looks just like big fat Bowser. He sits there waiting for Apple One Agency to give him a call. Hey, Darius, get your pathetic friggin' life up and go clean turds out of urinals from the most disgusting warehouse you can find, idiot. You make me friggin' sick. Darius Truxton, here's another one for you guys. Darius Truxton is an incel who proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo Toys and gave her 50 reasons why she should marry him. Reason number one, you're a friggin' piece of trash that comes online crying on the internet 24-7, 365. Reason number two, you have no family and your family hates your guts, Darius Truxton. Your sister doesn't like you, wish you didn't exist. Your dad friggin', you're the biggest disgrace your dad ever he just wanted to watch star trek with you and find out picard and that nebula but you couldn't do that huh you just wanted to go to your basement on your premium futon and stick your finger up your crack watching freddy got fingered that's your favorite movie most people's favorite movies scarface godfather this gangster movie that fantasy movie whatever this guy's favorite movie freddy got fingered that shows you how stupid darius truxton is he admitted that he failed every math class in high school that's pathetic 
That is absolutely pathetic. You are so stupid and you're talking about a strong retirement plan, huh? Strong retirement plan. You're that same queefy boy. There's video evidence of you getting beat up, lifted up to the ground, knocked to the ground. Instead of defending yourself like a real man should, you're freaking grabbing the guy's crotch in defense, trying to freaking weird him out. Guess what? It worked. He stopped beating you up and you did weird him out. I'm sure Ursha Gaming would love that f reason for you, huh? Add that to reason number 51 because you're just, you're just some Mac daddy coming on YouTube. You're so pathetic, Darius Trucks, that you had to make up a story that you have this imaginary girlfriend with two kids going through a divorce trying to sell her house, right? That's your story. Why the hell would she want to waste her freaking spare time driving over to Smell Manor with her own gas money? Because you can't drive a car, Queefy boy. So see, she has to come over with her own gas money to 2772, smells like cat piss, walk in her little disgusting freaking apartment. You still have not cleaned that dirty vent in six years and go watch, sit with you and eat TV dinners. That's pathetic. Ain't no one gonna do that, Queefy boy, all right? Your best chance at finding a girl is going to go play Final Fantasy XI online again, run around the town of Sandoria, Bastok, Bastok and Winders over and over and trying to find that one female character to marry you with the cheapest 20,000 gil package. You piece of trash. You are not a gamer. You never will. And guess what? Whenever you think that your subscriber account's gonna raise, right? You're like, oh, I'm getting big. I'm a gamer. Guess what? Snakes are gonna destroy your channel. It's gone. Snakes have leverage over you, Queefy boy. You know how, like, you know how, you know how there's that nuclear button, like, launch, right? We have the button right there to freaking get rid of your channel right now. We're just waiting. We just want to see what you actually do and how big you think you get and how confident you are. And after that happens, we're going to press the button and say bye-bye, Darius Truxton Live once again. Say goodbye to your pathetic incel channel where you live stream to freaking DJ Rudden, some idiot whose wife's getting tired <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The guy's married, and instead of going out with her to Super Bowl weekend and actually watching the game together, maybe at a sports bar and grill, this pathetic sack of trash is sitting at home at friggin' Queefy Boy's watch party. What watch party? There's TV dinners, and there's nothing to do. You guys all make me friggin' sick, and guess what? Robert's gonna get another welfare check, all right? Robert's gonna find out what happened to Queefy Boy. Remember that call, uh, Darius Trucks, and Robert hates your guts. I don't give a ye. That's exactly what he said. No one likes you, Darius Trucks, and I don't like you either. I destroy you every single day when I come on YouTube. How does it feel, huh? I know how it feels. You, you, to the point where you had to ban the word slotham from your live chat. Wow, you are a coward. You always were a coward i knew it from your face i knew it from your stupid little double xl freaking shirts and your dumb little freaking apartment you're there sending d pics to candace guys hold on, hold on big bulletin news hello listen i want to prepare you for something hello hello mcfly listen up Darius Truxton is running this narrative now where he's trying to prep you guys into thinking that whatever story's gonna come up with Candace and the D-Picks is fake. No, 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 it's real. It's real. We knew this for years, guys. We knew, I knew this about probably six, seven months ago about this whole story. This is real. Darius Truxton will try everything he can defl to deflect the truth. What is gonna come out about the D-Picks and Candace and all that evidence is 100% friggin true do not listen to darius truxton he is a liar he's a fake he always was a liar and always was a fake all right darius you're not gonna try to friggin you might trick dave c some racist prick who comes on youtube and beats his wife sierra air is gonna know the truth he's definitely gonna believe it and he's gonna troll you behind your back dj rudden might believe you james campbell some hobgoblin knows 400 pound fat estella wife marrying sack of crap with a masculine haircut who's 16 years older than him he might believe it but guess what james it's true it's true the lover boy that you worship darius truxton sent d pics to candace and candace found out because of the genesis games in the goddamn background and you're gonna see the evidence 
By the way, April 26th was the day that Darius Truxton got fired from Franklin Empire, right? Guess what day's coming up else? Alt Account 1 said that April 6th, 2023 was the day 2772 got exposed. Hey, Queefy Boy, the anniversary of your destruction is up soon in about a week. How does it feel, huh? How does it feel, Albert Menendez, that you're a cuck that freaking got buried by king of all buttocks and all you could do after that was be like, hey, king, what's up, king? Hey, can I come on your stream, king? And you have this big little smile on your face, ready to freaking bend over and go down your knees. You're pathetic. You're pathetic, Albert Menendez. And what did I tell you? If you want to do drama videos, forget the daytime rants and do it at night because at night you're hopped up on whatever drug you take. You turn into full Nosferatu mode and that's when you're unhinged. I don't care care about your daytime rants i don't care about your cement pillow and your blue tent in the florida everglades you stupid prick and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet you lift me up off my ass you lift me off my ass man you get your hand away from my ass